All right, so here's for our last step. Last time you should have colored your portrait, this time we're gonna work on the background. Now the same color scheme is gonna go for the background. If you had a happy or joyful picture, you're going to use your hot colors to also paint the background, okay? I would not be using any of my cold colors. So I could just do a pattern of like red, orange, red, orange, or use all of them, or just do the whole thing one color. That's up to you, but it does need to be hot. So I'm gonna be looking to see how well you follow directions. If you know your hot colors, um, make sure you're taking your time. I would recommend putting your paper onto another piece of scrap paper so you can get right off to the edge. You know, you can just stick that under there so that you're not um, getting a mess on the table. Now, if you don't have watercolors, that's fine. You can use markers for your background instead. If you have watercolors, use them. If you don't, use some markers for the background. If you don't have markers and all you have is crayons at home, use crayons. I can't wait to see the final product and how these turn out. I will be posting an example of a final painting uh, so that you can see the difference between the hot and cold colors. All right, have a great day. Bye.